Hello? Is Damien uh, available? Sure. Oh, thanks. Hey, let's let them rock. Hey, uh, this is your first vote, huh? Yes, this is. You uh, with the Barack Obama campaign? Are you a supporter? Yes. Yeah? Have you voted yet? No, not yet. Are you planning on voting yes. early or? I if I vote early, it won't make, it, it won't make any difference. Right? Just voting early, right? Yeah, it's, it's the same vote. It's but like, uh, would I be like scheduled to go or like? No, no, you go at your own convenience. Do you, okay, here's my well, right there. This is how cool we are. We can give you a ride over from your house over to the polling place if you. I can schedule you in. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I'll take a ride. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right on. Why, why are you doing this? Because of my kid. My four-year-old, my 15-year-old, the kids I teach. You know, most of the kids I teach are um, at-risk kids. Got to give them a better future, you know? Yeah, what's it like? I mean, because you, you, don't, you don't win every time when you walk up to a door. No, and you saw the guy that closed the or two guys that closed the door on me. You know, it's just a matter of communicating with each other and just articulating our differences and, and uh, seeing that we have more in common than we don't. Yes, but I don't want to waste the time. And I waited too long to come here. You can follow me out there and take a picture of where it's going, too. Just that really. There aren't that many people who realize need to work in a battleground state. In the state of Texas, um, there there really isn't considered to be a huge um, difference of an opinion as to how Texans are going to vote. In New Mexico, it's all up in the air. So we're only 30 minutes from New Mexico, and it's really easy to come down here and work from the No, I'm leaving a message. Okay, transfer. No, I've really changed it now. And then I I'm a volunteer calling today on behalf of the Republican Party of New Mexico. How are you? Okay, um, if the Democrats completely control the government, they have promised to enact the largest redistribution of wealth in the American history. Can our Republicans get count on your support? Okay. Okay. You've already voted. Would you mind telling me whether you support or oppose the Republican ticket? Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Appreciate your support. Bye bye. It like picks up and it's quietly goes dead. Yeah, it goes dead. Well, I think he's uh, the most radical presidential candidate we've ever had. I don't think many people are informed as to his history, his context, and I'm really not talking about all of the ones that have made the news. I'm talking about some of the ones that haven't made the news. He was actually trained by and mentored by the Industrial Areas Foundation, which was founded by Saul Alinsky, known as Saul the Red. And his views are quite radical, very different from his public views that he's espoused to, to in his campaign. And I think a lot of people aren't aware of, of the really subversive nature of his views. I think it's frightening. I think we better take a good look before we have somebody in office that we didn't really want. We, there's change that's good and change that's bad. When he talks about fundamental change, that's exactly what we don't want. The fundamentals of our country are good and they're strong and they've held up and provided us with tremendous freedom for as long as America has been. Uh, what we really need to do right now is take a look 
at what he's calling fundamental changes and fight as hard as we can to withstand those. How many more El Paso folk coming over here would make you feel confident that you are really making a difference? In other words, if you, it's just two of you here today, you, you and your friend. Would you, would you rather there was a dozen or two dozen? And uh, Right now, Obama's running ahead in the polls in, in New Mexico. I think that one person can do a great deal. I think that certainly we could use a lot more volunteers and there's a need for volunteers. But as far as to really make a difference, um, I think one person, if every person you contact uh, is, has, is the possibility of a boat. You ready to carpool them up here? <laughs> sure.